Good afternoon, it's, it's time to talk about parallel lines and their equations. And it is very important that you have uh, studied the videos before, or at least that you understand that the general equation of a line, uh, we write that in the gradient intercept form, if I take quickly on a piece of paper, the gradient intercept form where y equals m times x plus c, now we call this the gradient intercept form, because that coefficient of x, that is your gradient, yeah, whatever that number is, that is the gradient of your line, and that c is the y-intercept, yeah, where it cuts, where it intersects the y-axis, yeah, where it crosses the y-axis. Okay, I've explained that before, uh, you need to understand this, and before we can move on to, okay, so parallel lines and their equations. Yeah. Now that's not necessarily difficult if we understand, like with most topics. Um, I, I prepared uh, two lines, and as you can see, they are parallel lines. Yeah? So I'm going to put those little arrows there, which will tell me they're parallel lines. And we can construct equations when we look at lines, can't we? Yeah? So let, let's, let's construct the equation of this line. Let's call that line 1, and then that makes that line 2. Okay, now line one is y equals mx plus c, and the gradient of this line, so if I go one step to the right, how much do I go up? Yeah, that's difficult to see, so I'm going to continue to go to the right until I have a nice intersection point there, you see that? So I actually have to go one, two steps to the right, and then I'll go one up. That's the gradient. So one step to the right, I'll go how much up? A half, that's it. So y equals a half x, yeah, gradient in some form. And what is c? Where does it go through the y x at point two, a positive two, eh? So y equals a half x plus two. That will be the equation for line one. All right, let's put a little, Oh, that mark is not working anymore, so I'll use my black one, a box around it. Okay, there we go. Okay, line one. Now for line two, and we're going to do the same thing. Y equals mx plus c, yeah, gradient intercept form. And let's see, what is the gradient for line two? Um, well, let's find a nice point. Let's uh, over here. Well, let's do it over here. It doesn't matter. Eh? The gradient, it is constant. It doesn't matter where you go. But it's nice to be on an intersection point of squares of your graph paper. Because then I can easily go one step to the right. Yeah, one unit to the right. And yeah, how much do I go up? Again, difficult to see. If I go two to the right, I go exactly one up. So what is the gradient there? The gradient is if I go one step to the right, how much do I go up? A half, yeah? Make sure you have studied those videos before where I prove that, and I take some more time explaining that there, but now uh, a half x, I don't want to bore you too much. Yeah, so I go a little bit quicker, half x plus c, what is the y-intercept? It goes through the y-x over here, and what, which point is that? That is at minus one, yeah? Yeah, you don't see it, but it's the negative y, negative 1. So that is the equation for that second line. Yeah, we know that. That's why we have to be able to do that before we move on to parallel lines. So we need to be able to construct equations looking at lines. Yeah? Okay. Parallel lines. Now, if I compare this equation, y equals a half x plus 2. Let me, let me write that down on a new piece of paper. Excuse me. There we go. Okay, I'm getting a new marker. Hopefully this one works better. Y, that's better, equals a half x plus two. That's the equation of line one. And line two, we've said y equals a half x minus one. The y intercept was, excuse me, was at minus one. Now if I compare these two equations and those lines are parallel, what is the same? Well, yeah, obviously their y's are the same, but what else is the same? Their gradients are the same. Yes, indeed, yeah, they're both a half. Because parallel lines, hang on a minute, of course, that makes sense. Parallel lines, they are equally as steep. And that is basically your parallel line, isn't it? Their gradients are the same. 
parallel lines. Yeah, the y-intercept changes, yeah, but the steepness doesn't change. Look at my ruler, does the steepness change? Absolutely not, the y-intercept changes. So for parallel lines, the gradient is the same. Okay, so let's say my mom comes home tonight and she asks me, so John, I have two equations, one of them, y equals 3x plus 2, and the other one, y equals minus 2x plus 5. And she asked me, John, are they parallel? I can say, no, they're not parallel. Why is that? Because the gradients are not the same. If somebody else asked me, let's say my father comes home tonight as well, and he says, well, John, I have an equation, y equals minus x plus 5, and I have the equation y plus x equals 7. Are they parallel? Oh dear, this is a little bit more difficult. Yeah? That's, that's what fathers always do. They always make it a little bit more difficult. But I can only compare, I can only find out whether they're parallel or not if I write them both in the gradient intercept form. Now the first one is already written for you in a gradient intercept form. But I just have to rearrange the second one to also write in the gradient intercept form, then I can compare those gradients. So the x, I have to, if you like, get rid of it, take it away. That's only equal if I do that on both sides. Eh? So that second equation becomes y equals minus x plus 7. And I can say, yes, Daddy, they're parallel. And why is that? Because their gradients are the same. A gradient of minus 1. Yeah, so the line, both of them are going down. Of course, their y-intercepts are changing, but they're equally as steep. All right. Now, that is important to realize that parallel lines have the same gradient. So these two lines are not parallel. These two lines are parallel because their gradient is the same. That is important to understand before you move on to the next video where I will give you a few examples of questions you can uh, expect involving parallel lines and their equations. All right, all the best and I'll see you soon.